Though plans for the Republican National Convention in Minneapolis-St. Paul were somewhat in doubt Saturday night because of Hurricane Gustav, the media party went on as scheduled along the Minneapolis River. I think you're comfortable with this pace. Thank you. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. There was plenty of local music, plenty of local food, and a phony celebrity or two. I'm here campaigning for John McCain. That's great. I have five children. The party took place along the riverfront, including a former flour mill that shut down in the 60s and suffered extensive fire damage in the early 90s. Welcome to our flower tower. The show you're about to see is based on the memories of men and women who worked here in the Washburn A flour mill between about 1920 and when this mill shut down operations in 1965. Now you're sitting on a freight elevator, and we will be moving up and down. Loading, which was hard and heavy work, you know, loading boxcars and sewing those things up and hoisting them onto a belt. Here's what the party looked like from atop the former flour mill. The host committee did a good job of making reporters feel welcome and comfortable. Some more comfortable than others. Ken Herman, Cox Newspapers Washington Bureau, reporting from the Republican National Convention Media Party in Minneapolis. <laughs>